Got a mail bag. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. A lot of little stuff. So um, let's uh, get started. First one is toy mixed. 100 pieces of. <laughs> I know what this is. It says 100 pieces eyes. 100 pieces eyes. I just bought a bunch of googly eyes. I think I don't know if they're adhesive or not. Ah, shoot, I didn't check. Hmm. Ah, I don't think they're adhesive. Well, that's going to make sticking them on stuff all over the house a little harder. Well, shoot. Oh wait, I think they are. That one had a... No, they don't feel like they have a... No, they're just plastic. People in China making these must be like, what the... F what? They must be like, what the hell are these white people buying, man? I can think of some stuff that needs googly eyes attached to it. 20 pieces. Mm, SW420 HDX something something. No idea. Oh, cool. More vibration switch sensors. Uh, these are axial. Sounds like a ball. These are ax some kind of axial tilt switch or vibration sensors. Probably vibration because it's probably a ball between two. No, they're not offset. Maybe they're just two cups. That wouldn't make sense because it would never connect the two. Hmm. Really, two cups that come really close together. I'll take that apart and see. A little vibration switch. Next! 100 pieces T220 silicone. Alright, these are those uh, TO whatever, 92. 292, something like that. Uh, heat sink insulators. Um, but these are cool because you could probably use them for something else too. Anywhere you need a clamp and isolate, you know, an insulator between something. But it's really made for the, you know, certain package size. I think it insulates electrically and transfers the heat to the heat sink instead of using um, something like a thermal compound. Next, black PC 120 millimeter. Oh, look, it's got a pattern. I know what this is. These are, are they metal or plastic? I guess they're just plastic. They put little indents for the screws, but you have to pop them out yourself, it looks like. That's weird. <laughs> they are some kind of plastic fan grills. I think it's five pieces. Well, that's cool. Look, it creates cool little patterns when you use them as diffraction gratings. Ooh. <laughs> um, yeah, I just got these as filters for when you want to not block airflow, but have something covering, covering your fan. All right, next. Next up is screws. I keep ordering like little orders of screws. I need to just see what I need. 
really what I'm just ordering samples, and then when I figure out what I actually need, I'm going to order a whole bunch. All right. Two by... So these are probably M2 by three millimeters. These are just little uh, hex cap. I think they call these mushroom caps. Dome cap. Little M2 hardware. Next, temperature sensor. Uh, this is just a, another temperature sensor. This is a J type. Um, I don't know why I got a J-type. I forget. I think I just wanted to have a different kind of thermocouple to, to, to you know, to learn about the difference between the, the curve of K-type and, and J-type's uh, another one that's pretty popular for um, certain temperature ranges, or it's you know linear over linear over a certain temperature range. So that's a J-type thermocouple, and you can see it's yellow and red. That usually indicates, you know, what what's, what kind of metals you're working with. All right, next. This is uh, stop collars. Okay, these are stop collars for drill bits. So if you're going to drill a hole in something and, you, you know, sometimes you, you want the hole to be a certain depth or you don't want to just, you know, once you break through, you don't want your drill going all the way through. Say there's something behind it that's, or you just don't want to drill all the way through. Um, and that's what these are for. And these go on, these are collars that go on your drill bit. So your drill bit goes in the middle. Let me loosen that up. It even comes with the little hex and it's got a little set screw on the side. You put your drill bit, you put this on your drill bit. So you want to drill a, you, know, you want to widen a hole or drill a hole that's, you know, you know, uh, three, four millimeters deep. You just put it right there. Of course, usually you'd use these somewhere over here. <laughs> I don't think you use them that close to the bit, to the end of the bit, but, um, and then you just tighten that up on there. And then, so then when you're drilling your hole, you just, it automatically sets the depth. It looks like it's got all different sizes. This is the smallest one. And then they got the biggest one. And they all have recessed set screws. All right. That's not a bad deal. I was gonna 3D print one of these because I needed one. And then I started looking them online and they were just like super cheap. So I was just like, I'll just order a whole set. I don't have any. All right, next. Mm, Suffuse, five pieces, SF. Sounds like some kind of fuse. Okay. So like a thermal fuse, I think. Oh. Cut the bag open. Shoot. Yeah, these are some kind of thermal fuse. These look like they might be uh, 240C, 10 amp, 250 volt. C1582. So when these get too hot, they blow. And they can get too hot because of overheating or because of current. Uh, I don't think they blow. I think these are... Um, I think these are resettable fuses. I think they just thermally break and then reset. I'm pretty sure. I'll have to double check that. Put those back in there. Maybe I'll tape that closed. I'll put one of these in my prototyping bin. One of these two. All right, got one more package. Last package is um, screw. Number two, probably more some more M2. Uh, yeah, so these are M2 three millimeters as well, just like these. But these are dome capped, and these are 
Um, are these the same size? Yeah, I think those are M2s. Yeah. Although the uh, the the head the head size is different. The um, M2 by three. Yeah. So if you so these dome heads are much smaller. In fact, I think they use a smaller hex hex size head. These heads are much bigger. I'll take some of these out and take a look at them. Put them in my hardware um, tray. Take one of those out and take one of these out. We'll take a look at them. In fact, I think I have something that might fit that hardware. So let me. I don't have a hex, I don't have a torque uh, head. All right, I'll take a look at these real close. All right, so both of these are M2 hardware, meaning that they're, the diameter fits in a two millimeter hole. All right. And they are three millimeters in length. So that's what that means, M M23. 2x3 or 2-3 but you can clearly see that this one has a nice heavy-duty hex cap they call them and this one is a much much uh, a little smaller I don't know if the diameter is any smaller though let's take a look They look like they're a little bit smaller. I have to get my calipers out to double check, but let's see if we can, yeah, see? Yeah, they're pretty close. Yeah, I'm having a hard time picking them both up. You can see those have a dome, little dome head. Those have a little cap head. So that's it for now. Till next time.